Welcome to this short video introducing the course Advanced Numerical Methods in Macroeconomics. I am Jesus Fernandez Villaverde at University of Pennsylvania and I will be co-teaching this course with Carlo Nuño at the Bank of Spain. Since the financial crisis already over one decade ago, macroeconomics has made tremendous advances in incorporating nonlinear phenomena. Think, for instance, about all the models that we have now to deal with sovereign or banking crisis, and also into introducing non-trivial heterogeneity in households and firms into dynamic general equilibrium models. We have now many models, for instance, to deal with heterogeneous agents in New Keynesian models, the so-called Hank class of models. These advances in modeling have, in turn, pushed the boundaries in numerical methods, as we are looking for ways to efficiently solve these nonlinear models, especially when they have heterogeneity. These advances have come along three dimensions. One is that in many environments we have switched from discrete to continuous time methods in the formulation of the macro models. This is for two reasons. One, the math of continuous time is often much more easier to handle and much more elegant. Second, because there are many numerical methods that are much easier to implement in continuous time than in discrete time. Second, we have learned how to introduce machine learning techniques as a procedure to solve macroeconomic models. In particular, we have learned how to use deep learning. And third, we have learned how to adopt parallelization techniques to speed up computations. These days, even the most basic laptops will come with four core processors and we want to take advantage of those four core processors. Even more, it is extremely easy and cheap to have access to some cloud service such as Amazon Web Service and for just a few euros have access to a very powerful machine for many, many hours. Suddenly, massive parallelization is something that is within reach of every graduate student or young researcher. Therefore, we have designed this course to cover some of these ideas. First, we will introduce dynamic programming in continuous time. In that way, we will all get familiar with the basic ideas of continuous time and macro in that set in such an environment. We will start with the final difference method as a, as a solution method because it's the simplest way to do so and because it will help us to understand some of the main issues later on. We will have examples illustrating this solution method from sovereign default models. Next, we will move into deep learning, reinforcement learning and its application to solving high dimensional dynamic programming models. We will learn what a neural network is, why neural networks are good approximators to a very large class of problems, and we will illustrate how to uh, apply them in real life. Then, with this background, we will move to models with heterogeneous agents in continuous time. And we will have examples from macrofinance and how to use the techniques from machine learning that we described before to solve these models. And finally, we will wrap up this week with a brief introduction to parallelization techniques, which will highlight the practical aspects of these ideas more than the abstract theoretical aspects of them. We have taught this class in the past. We think that in general students were very, very happy with the content and we warmly invite you to consider this class and we hope to see many of you at Zenfi this summer. Thank you.